CEO of TJ, I'm sorry, the CEO of OpenKey, Mr. TJ Person. All right. Um, thanks for uh, having us here. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's great to see some old faces. Uh, what I thought I'd do just really quick is uh, just, since I haven't seen some of you in a while, kind of go through some Christmas photos. Took a little Christmas vacation uh, recently with the family to Orlando, uh, which is really challenging with a three and one year old. Um, so this is us. This is us. 8 a.m. We're headed to the park. Uh, 10 a.m. We're, we're looking good. 11.30, we're bouncing. 2 p.m., little shark thing is really scary to a two-year-old. Um, 5.30, starting to fade a little bit. 8.45, a, a bit of a struggle. Um, and then we're back at the hotel. Uh, we stayed at a really cool hotel. Uh, it's 10.30 at night. We've been on the road on our, our feet for 14 hours. Uh, there's 1,800 rooms at this hotel. It's 36 acres, and we lost our key. And uh, we were about a mile and a half uh, out to our room and realized we didn't have the key. So this is part of the reason why I started Open Key, because uh, there's a massive uh, issue in the marketplace uh, for hotels in this stupid plastic key that we carry. Um, so hotel guests, hotel guests are already mobile everything. Um, a, a recent study said that 67% of guests would choose a hotel that had mobile key over a hotel that didn't, and 43% of uh, hotels consider mobile engagement a uh, priority. Uh, right now, there's about 17 million hotel rooms uh, worldwide. Uh, so why isn't every hotel using mobile key today? It seems a very logical thing to do. Um, first off, there are many lock companies and complicated integrations. Lock companies are making Bluetooth locks, but if I own a hotel chain that has 100 or 10 or 1,000 hotels, well, then I have to support uh, different software uh, SDKs and different uh, hardware companies across the spectrum, which is very complicated. Law companies are not great at software. It's a complicated process for issuing uh, keys at hotels. These are very legacy systems. Sometimes we go into hotels and there's water leaking through server rooms. So these are, these are challenging environments uh, that haven't been uh, approached well. Uh, and the hotels need a cost-effective way to launch mobile key. All the hotel locks have to be upgraded to Bluetooth in order for them to be mobile key compatible today. So what do we do? We provide a universal app and a robust SDK. So we provide the tools that the guest needs to open their door. We provide the front desk tools uh, that plug into the hotel that allow the keys to be delivered. Uh, we also do a dashboard with metrics. Uh, we provide data back for the hotels. Uh, as you can imagine, we're sitting in kind of an interesting position with data. Uh, and our, our really long-term goal is to try to drive more direct bookings for the hotel and lower um, travel commissions. Uh, and we're really trying to be the inter indus industry standard uh, for mobile locks. So one-stop shop, come to Open Key, uh, we can support that. Uh, our business model is pretty simple. Uh, I'm going fast because I'm going to get to the ask here. Uh, our business model is simple. It's free for the guest, of course. Uh, we're a SaaS-based model for the hotels. Uh, it's a, I think, a very strong ROI for the hotel. Uh, so we're replacing the plastic keys. Those plastic keys, ironically, are still very expensive. They're somewhere in the 50 cent range per key. Uh, so in physical keys alone, we're saving the hotel uh, about $1,000 a month uh, based on current usage. Uh, reduced commissions, so we're also helping the hotels to do direct bookings. Uh, so we're saving 15% on all of those. Uh, we're doing upgrades for guests, so since we're doing skip the desk and the, ho and the guest never has to go to the front desk of the hotel, uh, we can provide upgrades and other services that the hotel is trying to sell. Uh, and then uh, we're helping to reduce the overhead uh, at the front desk uh, to reduce the staff. So a little of the snapshot, uh, right now we're 25 uh, people working on this. I've been doing this for about a year and a half. Uh, headquarters in, in Dallas. Uh, we have hotels right now in Mexico, uh, the Middle East, uh, all over the U.S., uh, in Asia as well. Uh, and we just announced, we just launched our, uh, or just closed our Series A of $8 million. So we have a little capital to hire. So we're looking for sales um, uh, people uh, inside, outside. Uh, we have a very strong uh, process for inside and outside sales. 
Uh, and so we're looking for salespeople, we're looking for engineering talent, um, and uh, deployment people. We actually have to go out to every one of the hotels uh, and do training and testing. So thank you. So what if Democrats are staying at the hotel and Putin sends his hackers to try to come in and hack and get into the room? Can you prevent that? So, I mean, security comes, that question of security comes up a lot. Um, as you can imagine, the plastic key that you have in your pocket is much less secure uh, than the 256-bit encryption that, that we're uh, rolling out with mobile key. So it's a much safer platform. The other thing is with the plastic keys you have now, uh, at least the Magstripe ones, it's a 15 to 20% failure rate. So nothing worse than either losing your key or the sucker doesn't work. You raised $8 million in Dallas? Yes. Okay. <laughs> $25 million total since I moved here 10 years ago. What, what, what is the distinction between what you offer versus the ones that were there on the slide? So the ones that I showed were mm -hmm. actually law companies. So the law companies are building the hardware. Um, our investors are all strategic investors, so they've really helped us to build deep relationships with those law companies. So they're all partners. We have about 15,000 hotel room doors, um, and we have about 35,000 in the pipeline right now. So hotels, it's about 75 to 100 hotels. So what happens if you lose your phone? Well, you're, you're fucked. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Yes, yes. Right? Uh, yeah, TechCrunch doesn't talk to us that much. No, so like how, how does OpenKey differentiate itself from like the major players in the PMS space or the CRS space? That, that's a great question. So we, um, we partner with the PMS, which is property management system, and CRS, which is central reservation system. Um, so we partner with both of them to get the incoming reservation uh, from the guests so we can communicate with them to tell them about mobile key so we can get them a key before they get there. So today those companies are not really focused on mobile key today. Um, so today they're all partners of ours um, and you know there's a lot of meat on the bone. It's still very early so I mean there's room for competitors. I'm fine with that. I don't have a question but I just want to let you know that I think your pitch deck is great and you did a great job pitching. So Thank you. Wow that's awesome. I'm just going to leave. If there's no other, no other questions, I'm just going to go on that note. <laughs> it's so fragile building a startup. Like, you know, the five ups and downs of every day, like you absolutely hate it and then you love it. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. That's an up. So is, is there a plan to like white label this app for certain hotel flags? Absolutely. So th we're already doing it. We just launched uh, a really cool chain of hotels called uh, the Line, Freehand, and Nomad. They're really, really cool hotels. Um, and so they're completely branded with them. I don't really care about the open key deal. We just want to have a vessel to get the key to the guests. But that's the oh, white label thing is really hot right now. I just want to ask that you raise $8 million. Is it from venture capital or from angel? Uh, uh, this time it was uh, strategic capital, mostly hotel owners. But I've raised, uh, my other two startups were uh, in Dallas, we're, we're VC backed. Any other questions? Well done, sir. Thank you.